Welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Samus Returns. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester with the Niskull. Hey, Mom. Yeah? Hey, Mom. Oh. Hey, Mom. Yeah. Hey, Mom. Yes. Yes. Hey, Mom. Yes, honey. Hey, Mom. I see you. Hey, Mom. We're going now. Hey, Mom. We're going Mom. now. Stay close. Mom. Don't Mom. wander too far Mom. now, dear. What? Hi. <laughs> I would not be a good parent. <laughs> yes, that is a stolen joke. Yes, it's still funny. Get out of here. Although, uh, you know, I, I think it's relevant because, you know, Stewie, you know, in his early years, wanted to kill his mom. And, uh, you know... And now he cares! I think. And, you know, in Super, in Super Metroid, the baby Metroid sucks all your energy away at one point, does does it not? Well, that's just being a parent, I mean, let's be honest. Ooh! Ooh, Samus Aran! I hate that. <laughs> Do not like. But what, what's the meme from Fallout? Everybody hated that. <laughs> Everybody disliked that. <laughs> Ah, right, check it out! I'm, I'm killing all the freaking Metroids. <laughs> hey, Lois, look! It's the last Metroid. It's in captivity. This is worse than the time I got PTSD from seeing Ridley. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> it's, it's it's all bad. It feels like every time we do one of these episodes, we badmouth Other M. So anyway, Other M is really <laughs> bad because. <laughs> Garbo, dude. <laughs> this is the garbage Pokemon Garboder. <laughs> it's Garbo, man. Yeah, I'm kind of upset that they made a trash bag Pokemon, but not a recycling bin Pokemon. Well, give that to the Hisui region or something like that. Maybe we'll get a recycling bin instead of the bag of trash. This one's really... Uh, yeah, this is mean. This one's mean, but it's deceptively simple. It's just grapple beam, right? You'd think. I mean, we're on the right spot with the the, the uh, time shift there. Mm-hmm. That's that's obvious. Yeah. These things always come back, but at least so uh, at least you're getting. Uh. We could go up here, but that's that's not the answer. Can oh, can you ledge? There we ledge. go. Ledge, and then grapple. Zoop. Yes, of course. Of course! All for a super missile tank. That's it. I mean, I haven't even used all these super missiles yet. The, I mean, everything that we could use these super missiles on are kind of already dead. Maybe we'll use them in Super Metroid. You know, super missiles, Super Metroid. Yeah, but, like, apparently on the way back she just immediately just jettisons everything out the, out the airlock. It's like, gravity suit, super missiles, missiles, morph ball, everything, don't need it, just... <laughs> Send it all out. Maybe those were Baby Metroid's toys, and, you know, she's finally sick of the kid. It's like, the bomb? Out the window. Maybe, Power bombs? Out of there. Maybe they had her, like, remove all of her weapons when she went to Sarah's station. To deliver the baby. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, sorry, sorry, Samus, need you to remove all weapons and all that. And she's like, oh, God, this shit again? Come on. I, I just got all this stuff. You, you have no idea. You humans are so weak. This one, you kind of freeze there, and then that is a fun puzzle. That's nice. Like that's that. a fun puzzle. Got a question for you? Yeah. You know how a lot of game companies they come out with sequels pretty much every other year. Your Assassin's Creeds, your Far Cries. Well, that's because they have no original ideas, and they just they guarantee to make money, and that's all they do. Well, that's, here's my thought process. They don't make sequels for creative needs or artistic merit. They do it just for the money. So what if Metroid was owned by, let's say, Activision or Ubisoft? How would that go, I wonder? Well, one of two things would happen. Mm -hmm. One, we would be, you know, in one universe, we would have, like, Metroid 19. <laughs> and, we, and we would somehow roll our eyes and go, God, another fucking Metroid game? Dude, Jesus. towers. Towers. They show you where everything is. Second option, they make one game, doesn't sell well, immediately thrown by the wayside. And then 13 years later they go, you know what, a sequel to Metroid? Good idea. Nah, they wouldn't do that. Well, Beyond Good and Evil 2 is still a thing. Are you sure? I don't know, because I haven't, it's been haven't a, heard it's from it. It's been a thing for like a decade, it seems. Well, at least we finally got a pre-rendered trailer where everybody says the fuck word. Yeah, but what about the other pre-rendered trailer where the where it was just the pig? Like, what happened to that? 
I think I they've got they, they've either got nobody working on it or they've got no ideas for it, and that's it. Or maybe you know everyone quit because, well, the game industry sucks. Here we are at that dig or not chase part. Oh yeah, we did come back to this. Get everything that we missed. I like going back and doing cleanup. That it it feels nice. Just yeah. Oh, got that one and it. Got it's that like, one too. It's like playing house flipper or uh, viscera cleanup detail, <laughs> except we're not cleaning up human remains. We're just you know causing the human remains. causing human remains. Actually, we don't we don't kill humans. That's why it's rated T. We're killing all these humans. I mean, look at all these humans. The only humans we kill are in Metroid Fusion. The zombies? Because they've already been infected by the X. And they're oh, terrible. Yeah. If you look at the art book for Dread, there's a great uh, high definition look of like an infected human. One of the yeah. early the, the, the early uh, enemies you fight in Fusion. It's like, oh, geez, good stuff. Actually, uh, that art book has some artwork from this game too. Mm -hmm. I wonder if, well, obviously people have uploaded it to the internet. I wonder if you can find a good screenshot of the, um... Because they show both versions. They show Samus Returns, and they also show the Game Boy one. Yeah. Like, one page of it. Yeah. Well, that's okay. It was a short game. Well, well yeah. Short game. I, I, I still think it would have been funny if we had the Game Boy version going alongside this, but that's just me. It, it, it would have just been for the novelty. It, it wouldn't mm -hmm. have been like, and here it is! Still crap, still samey, you know? <laughs> it's definitely still the second Metroid game! Yep. I mean, you think this, you think this game's repetitive? I'm sure Metroid 2 is even worse. Well, that one also didn't have a map, per se. I think. It, it did not have a map. I mean, there's, of course, a map you can use, but there's no, there's no in-game map. Well, that's probably why it got longevity. So it became a where the fuck do I go game. And then Super Metroid came out, which introduced the map and inter and invented the genre. My god, you're right. Metroid 1 didn't have a map. Nope. Ew. It didn't have a map, it was... I think it was... I, I, I hate the original Metroid, to be honest. Well, that's a Nintendo Power game. Through and, and through. What? You get Nintendo Power, and the, that had oh, maps. Oh, right. Okay. You would use magazines to help you through the game. It's like, you think Nintendo Power made this game? No, well, <laughs> Sit down, you ignorant little slut. I'm going to tell you that it's wrong. Oh, wait. Allow me to tell you how you are wrong. <laughs> I will I will, uh, it, I will. will uh, have this, uh, this thread on Twitter in 30 parts as to why you are wrong. And then one follow-up tweet. So I just found out what he actually meant, and... Um, <laughs> and, um... Yeah, you know, point, uh, point still stands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. point, still, point still stands. <laughs> I'm not wrong, but neither is he. So, there. Twitter's stupid. Yeah, somebody admitting they're wrong on Twitter? <laughs> no way. Uh, it's about as rare as there being no racists on Twitter. Alright, this one is a little neat, too. This is what I call a door puzzle. So, Metroid comes in, eats these rocks. Oh, do you have to... But... You have to blast this door. So shoot the door so that opens. We got time shift going. Oh! Run back over here. Then go come through on the through. Door. And uh, uh, yeah, oh, there we go. There it is. Yeah. I, I love that look of. Why did I come over here? <laughs> uh, this is right, right? Yeah. It's right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. A legit door puzzle. How funny. They got some interesting puzzles in here. I will, I, I will not lie. Because the map says it's there. There's no ambiguity about that. He's got to find out how to get there. Though, I do, though I do kind of like how Dread did its uh, hidden stuff a little bit. Somewhere within this glowing white square is a hidden item. Find it. It took me a while to figure out what that actually meant, and then I finally put two and two together. It's another reason why Metroid Dread's so good. It's like, you can figure this out yourself, can't you, baby? I don't know, it's average at best. <laughs> You're average at best! Ah! Beating up Metroid nerds on the internet. <laughs> Bunch of dweebs. Boy, do you write for Kotaku or something? <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, record timing. Ten minutes. We did it. 
No politics. <laughs> Not at all. Never. <laughs> How do you think Samus leans politically? <laughs> do you think that there Samus girl believes in the deep state? <laughs> She is the one who drains the swamp. <laughs> I am the drain. Ooh, there we go. Ooh. Hey, there we go. Oh, is that the last energy tank? Uh, I, I believe. No. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It is. That's that's all the energy tanks. Yeah. We are all powerful. I think there's one more Aeon tank. Damn. Just one. Wait, what's that up there? You missed a spot. That's oh, fine. You. It's fine. Are you sure? Fine, it's oh, fine. it's 100. percent Okay, well, never mind. I, 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 I guess Don't we're done. Don't even need to worry about it. All right, off we go. I guess we're fine. Oh god. Oh god. Mm hmm. Uh, <laughs> I have everything. Hey mom. Hey mom. Hey mom. Hey mom. I the way the Metroid's bobbing around. I get the feeling it is trying to ask for something. Hey. Hey! So anyway, one time I was running around and I saw this thing, it looked like a lollipop, and I tried to lick it, but it was really hurty and burny, so I didn't really do it, but it looked really good. Can we get a lollipop on the way home? Samus, you know, what, what? I wonder why the sky is red sometimes, but the sky is kind of a weird color here. I don't think I've seen the sky, actually. Have you seen the sky, Ma? What's your situation on SR388 and you just hear, well, Samus, I've been going over your invoice for your for your work, and uh, yeah, we, mm -hmm. we we paid you for uh, you know the you know, for your time and also for you know all the Metroids. You know, and but uh, what's this for babysitting fee? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Th what did you babysit? It's a Metroid. Sorry, what? I saved a Metroid, sir. Uh, what? Uh, we, I, I, I saved one Metroid. Maybe you could use it. For, you, you could use it to I don't know save people or some shit. It, maybe it's a pet fee. Like she saved the baby Metroid and like sweet <laughs> souvenir. Oh, this is gonna be a lot of elevators, isn't it? Yeah, there's a bit of them. I mean, there's elevators, there's transporting. It's it's just how it is. Hey mom! Hey mom! Hey mom! Hey mom! Just ignore it. Can I get ice cream? Away. Ice cream? Ice cream. Why would you want ice cream? <laughs> it's a Metroid. <laughs> it's weak to ice. <laughs> It doesn't know that yet. It's like, hey, Nisko, you want to go out and get a poison Slurpee later? It doesn't know that yet. It's young and stupid. <laughs> My joke is funny. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Laugh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hilarious. Wait, no, go back for the missile tank. What are you doing? Oh, I see what you're doing. Oh, wait, no, no, I, I don't know what you're doing. Oh, there we go. It's up there. Eat candy. But, I, but the thing is, I gotta be, like, stationary for it to eat, so I gotta... Eat candy. Spider roll down here. There you go. And yoink. So was this type of backtracking in the original Metroid, or no? Um... Just out of curiosity. See, I think back then, speed was more of a thing, and the I like... You had to ask yourself, do I want to get this item and get stronger and make things easier at the sacrifice of time, or do I power through? Hmm. The backtracking here has, you know, a lore reason. You know, if we get 100%, we get all the things in this, uh, you know, we get all the Kozo memories or whatever, mm -hmm. and that unlocks things. And, like, the, the more recent modern Metroid games, like Zero Mission and Fusion, do you get different endings based on if you get 100% or not? Huh. Okay. And so, are, and, are, are and we planning on getting all endings for Super Metroid? I well, mean, I know Zero Mission was kind of, you know, so we I'm got... Just, I'm just getting the one, really. Okay, just, and then just show the off one. what the other endings are like? Yeah. Nice, nice. And besides, there's not really a whole lot of endings in Super Metroid. It's just, does she uh, take off her suit at the end or not? Does she get in the bikini top or no? Or sorry, sports bra. Well, sometimes it's a sports bra, sometimes it's a zero suit. I, I don't know. Does it's... she take the suit off or not? Just get naked, goddammit! <laughs> uh, if I beat the game in 45 seconds, she'll take her skin off! <laughs> <laughs> Let me beat the game so I can beat my meat! <laughs> Metroid! God damn it. This sucks.
yeah, this isn't fun. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it wrong, too. That's a couple of shots to get the anger out. All right. <laughs> you know, I have a feeling she would actually do that. Just, like, get something wrong for the fifth time. <laughs> okay. All right, I can do this. Yep, we're good. I just had to take a deep healing breath. Ah! Okay, we're good. And then a deep healing scream. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, Samus, uh, we heard some screaming, followed by a lot of blaster shots. No, it's fine. It's okay. Yes, I'm glad you heard it. We're, we're going to ask no questions now. Yeah, we're good. No worries. It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. Whatever you say, lady. So what, you're on the rack, Samus? <laughs> mm, and there's where multiple men died. So that's how Adam Malkovich really died. <laughs> it wasn't however he actually died. I don't know, lore reason. Nope, it was that. Pissed off the wrong bounty hunter. Evil robot lady. I got to thinking of Adam's death scene and how dumb and contrived it was. Don't spoil it. I will gladly watch that. Because that sounds hilarious. Hmm. Is it in slow motion? No, it's he, he, he like goes into a room. Bad, and bad, like, bad, bad, bad. It's fine. We'll get there one of these days. It's Don't worry. It's supposed to be noble, but at that point you've got so much contempt for the character, you're like, yeah, die! But of course Samus has to like, you know, it's like, I don't know. Adam, no. <laughs> Completely out of character, I'm sure. How will I ever function without you, Adam? I'm doing this puzzle backwards. No. Hey, it's fine. Whatever works. Actually, maybe it is, maybe that no, was that, the right that's way. right. That's right. Well, then go me. I did it right. Fuck off. Yeah! That's how it's done, yo. Woo! Now get that missile pack. Right up here. Just, uh... Yeah, there it is. Mom, can I have missile? Huh? You wouldn't know what to do with it, honey. Missile? Missile! Yeah! Now behave, or you get the ice beam. Uh, what? That's how you spank a Metroid. <laughs> pew, pew, ah! <laughs> now what have we learned? <laughs> Ice hurts! I hate you, Mom! You do not bite the mailman, understand? <laughs> Slams the door to its bedroom, listens to Linkin Park at full blast. Ugh, teenage Metroids. <laughs> An acne-ridden Metroid. I'm thinking, how big the baby Metroid gets? <laughs> it's a good thing that thing didn't evolve. No kidding. You imagine, like, you know, a, a Godzilla-sized Omega Metroid? Yikes. Yeah. Would not like that. No. Uh, this one... This should be pretty easy, because we got the baby Metroid, I think. Let's just, you know, get get through the, the herdy plants. You and... know, now I get the visual imagery of... You wouldn't treat me like this if I was a queen, Metroid! <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, shut up, kid. <laughs> Where's my dad?! <laughs> Good question, actually. Wait, do, do where, is, where is Dad Metroid? Is there a King Metroid? I don't think so. <laughs> Samus is like, yeah, you're looking at it. <laughs> Alright, there are two Aeon tanks, I think. Because I think we got just, like one more left. There's still a couple things in the surface we've, we've got to get. I don't know, that's looking pretty complete. It's looking pretty full, though, but I, th I think there's room for one more... Eh. It's like dessert. There is always room for dessert. Especially if you're a Metroid. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, when you just constantly eat. Well, yeah. And we've been pumping this kid full of rock candy, so... That means he's getting ready for for a real meal here soon. You know, I just realized... We are literally getting this kid sugared up so we can give him to somebody else. <laughs> we are like the worst parent. I, uh... The DMV down here. Where, where we live. There's a sign that always makes me funny. That, oh, that's right. always funny. If you leave your kid here, we will... Any, any unattended kid <laughs> will be given a Red Bull and a kazoo. <laughs> that's um, that's pretty great. I'm glad the, the DMV actually has a sense of humor, because, my God, that seems like soulless work. As in, you would wish your soul left your body. We got one more to go. Where the fuck could it be? <sighs> it's Is always the one last missile ones. tank you missed? I didn't miss that. No, got you, it. you went back and got it. I got that. But now it's probably just a piece of the map I haven't uncovered yet. It's hiding behind there. Maybe it's the one I told you about. 
Uh, mm, it's just a hidden, just a hidden block that hasn't been revealed on the map yet. It's got to uh, be somewhere. I think I think I know where it is now. Let's see if you're right. Okay, so go down here and uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's where it is. Instant transmission. Well, it's not instant. We gotta load it though. Hey, mom. Wow, what is this place? What are we doing here? Is it? Does it hurt? Wow. No, oh, yes, it hurts like a bitch. But you know what? Mommy learned how to suck it up. You should too. I gotta bring up Cronenberg's uh, The Fly again because if she's going into a transporter with the Metroid, then that must mean. Well, I mean, it'd, it'd be silly if she became part Metroid. Yeah, that'd be ridiculous. Metroid, Metroid. I ain't taking no vaccine. <laughs> what coronavirus? <laughs> God, I don't want to think of Sam as the anti-vaxxer, okay? <laughs> well, if you play if you play Fusion, you know she is very, very uh, pro-vax. Yeah, I know, but I just don't want Because, wanna... hey, guess what? Vaccines save lives! How about that shit? Sam is wearing a MAGA hat. I hate it. Oh, no! I fucking hate it, dude. <laughs> Oh, why would... <laughs> why, though? Why would she wear a MAGA hat? I don't know! I just get that imagery and it sucks! <laughs> Taking care of all the Metroids. Tremendous work. <laughs> Love what she did on SR388. It was great. We're all very proud. All very proud of her. You know, great job, great work. You know, I was the one who said that we should kill the Metroids. <laughs> the bigliest Metroid. Holy shit, no! Saw those Omega Metroids, it's off. It's terrible, it's bad stuff there, folks. It's really bad. You're killing me! I might actually be dying. <laughs> no! Eat the candy, quick! There we go! I've been trying to work on my Trump accent. I think I'm doing pretty alright. <laughs> oh my god, that was funny. Hey! That's 100%! Just knocking him down. Oh, get me out of the red state. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> Please. Back to blue we go. Stop the big lie of the X-Parasites. It's not there. It's all just... It's all in the... The X-Flu. Oh, I, I could go. I could, I could do this for hours. I could do this for hours. <laughs> X-Parasite fake news. Oh, we saw it on a different planet. Fake news. Maybe that's the Metroid Dread. Got crooked Malkovich! <laughs> oh, I believed Ridley the entire time. Alright, two more areas before we sign off. We'll oh. save the, the, the last episode for I actually area have tears nine in my end. eyes. How dare you? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> His Secretary of State is crayed. <laughs> Uh, and then we got Ridley Giuliani. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Fuck! I hate everything. It's so fun and easy, though. <laughs> Sam is getting political. Metroid, Metroid. <laughs> <laughs> I love that somebody asked us what that actually meant. I don't even think we know what it means. It literally it's just, means nothing. It's, it's, it's just a fun little cadence. Mm hmm. Something and another thing. Metroid, Metroid. Everything is rhythmic. Metroid, Metroid. Metroid. <laughs> Stuffing all the ballot boxes. Metroid, Metroid. Bipartisan support. Metroid, Metroid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and a lot of money. Metroid, Metroid. I need to stop. <laughs> I need to stop. Yeah, stop by Metroid Alago. Metroid, Metroid. Metroid. Hell yeah. We did it. Uh, Great, nothing's gonna top that no, now, no. unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, we can't top that malarkey. Nope. <laughs> so malarkey. <laughs> Last Metroid's in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. Why is it back? At peace. Mother Brain? Returned? That's a bunch of malarkey. It says that the last Metroid's in captivity, but I don't think so. 
I don't think it's really in captivity. We really can't know any peace. There's no peace. <laughs> I believe in Fantoon. <laughs> He's the greatest. I had a great conversation with him the other day. Yeah, we saw that other M. We saw the other M. It was, uh, saw the it, other it was M. pretty good. It was good. Yeah, we liked what we saw there. It was, it was good with the way Samus and the Adam Malkovich is doing the things. And it's, it's really something, folks. I'll tell you what. Mm hmm. Very bigly on Crocomire. Responded <laughs> very, very, very well to the, to the Crocomire thing. Uh, yeah. So we, we like hearing that. It's good. It's a good thing to do about it. Oh, fuck. Nah. So, who would be Trump in this situation out of all Metroid characters? Uh, the, the, hmm. Time stop. I kind of want to say Gideon. Who is the head of the Galactic Federation. Oh, my God. That's almost way too fitting. Almost. But I don't like know people, any other Metroid characters. Wait, wait, was that his name, Gideon? Like, I think so. I, I, I think that's his name. He only kind of shows up in the manga a little bit, and maybe briefly referred to in, in Prime 3, another end maybe, I don't know. Hmm. I need to do more research into the Prime games, just to see what I'm missing. You haven't played any of the Prime games? I've played Prime 1, got lost, never went back, and then that's all I've played of any Prime games. You never played Prime 2 or 3? Nope. Oh. Three's the best, though! Told you, I'm missing out. Oh, guess what you're doing tonight. You're popping in, uh, oh, Prime Trilogy is what you're doing. God. You don't have to play Prime 1. Just, like, start Prime 2 and go, ooh, and then actually play Prime 3, because I think Prime 3 is the best one. I'm curious if they're all unlocked from the get-go, or if I have to beat 1, then beat 2, then beat 3. Do you think they would do that on a Wii disc? I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe if they release it for the Switch... Oh yeah, I reorganized stuff, sorry. I made him look good. So does it say, hey, choose from one of three classic adventures. Play the trilogy as it was meant to be played. Crap, yeah, that doubt. means it's unlocked behind one I another? Doubt, I doubt that. Hmm. Uh, let me look into the big, really big, thick manual here. Well, it? yeah, it has to fit three games worth of manual in there. Yeah, I guess so. Like, they actually took three different manuals, stapled them together. No, I think, I think it's all from the start. Hmm. That's what it looks like, maybe. Okay, do you remember when we first became friends? That was about, that was around the Wii's lifetime, when it came about. Yeah. You managed to get your Wii, uh, secondhand because nobody had yeah. any Wii's to sell. It was the best way to do it, yes. Yes. Uh, you got Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. Twice. Twice. <laughs> that, <I'll>, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what I was getting at, actually. <laughs> Your copy of Metroid Prime 3 Corruption broke. Uh, yeah. We, uh... Me and Violet accidentally knocked over the Wii while it was still spinning, and it did some pretty irreversible scratches to the disc. Crunch, crunch... And just more like a uh, radial scratch, radial scratch. Can't read that anymore. Mm. So I had to get a, a second copy of Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. A little salty, but hey, it's Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. Uh -huh. It's it's a great game, worth getting twice. And now I have two copies of Dread. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was my fault. Sorry. Well, not your fault. I, mean, I, I was going to get uh, that copy of Dread no matter what. That is true. I didn't want you to wait. I wasn't waiting. No, you weren't. I knew you weren't waiting. I had the motherfucker pre-ordered. Mm hmm Then it was worth the wait. Nah. Uh -huh. I'm glad. Yeah, that, that was my main fear, is getting hyped up for something that turns out to be utter garbage, but it wasn't. No, no, no. I mean, I don't think it would have been utter garbage. It would have had to do a lot to be utter garbage. It would have to... Well, it would have to be other M to be utter, Yo, to be utter garbage. Yo, Garbo but. Man! It's GARBAGE DAY! Let's play Metroid Other M. I could tell by looking at Ravenbeak that he was cross with me. Mm. He seemed intent on causing me physical harm. Oh, maybe Ravenbeak I knew that is I Trump. <laughs> he didn't even know the big twist about Ridley in that game. Nah, I'm out. The I'm stupidest okay with that. fucking thing about I'm Ridley. okay with it. What, the, what, that he's a little... Like... I'm okay with not knowing. That's what I was getting at. Oh, okay. Do, leave something for us when we do other M. Thank you very much. Oh, it's a thing you gotta see to believe, though. 
I can, I tell, I can tell you about it, but I want to see it. I want to believe. You know, I, I found another thing wrong with uh, with other Ram. What? So you know how fun it is to go around and kill enemies, and that's how you get your energy back and your missiles and all that. Uh -huh. You don't do that in other Ram. There's no reason to kill enemies in other M. 100% by the way. Are there recharge stations? They're all save stations. Oh. At every save station, probably much like Prime, you get your health back. But that's the only way to get your health and missiles back. That's interesting. There is, when you kill enemies, nothing happens. You do not get any energy back. You do not get any missiles back. So there's no reason hmm. to engage with enemies. Well, that's because Adam didn't give the monsters permission to give us energy and missiles oh, and stuff. He, he didn't authorize energy restoration. Did not authorize. You know, hey, Samus is coming in here. She's got a bone to pick with everything else. Don't help her, okay? Whatever be, you do. I think we just got one more thing to get here. That's it. Well, that's one way to clean up this area. Because, uh, you know, we're getting to the point where we've got everything that we need mm -hmm. for the items now. And I yeah. think I think we just got to get the one that we needed for the baby Metroid. By the way, when we were talking about, you know, getting multiple copies of Dread, yeah. can I just say I love Nintendo strategy to fuck over scalpers? I know, it's a great strategy. Okay, so get this. They release an initial pre-order for special editions, Amiibo, all that crap. And everybody went crazy and got that right then and there. Correct. But so did the scalpers. Immediately. Mm -hmm. That's so, going to be everybody. Nintendo's recent strategy, as well as I believe Capcom's recent strategy, they do that initial pre-order... It vanishes, w without a trace. Months pass by. No word on a restock of pre-orders. They're just gone, as far as you know. Release date comes along. Every single store has a massive stockpile of everything that got that got got by scalpers. That was how you and I managed to get our special editions the day of release. Correct. Somehow. And the thing is, it's been a couple weeks. Stores still have special editions of Dread and the Amiibo sets. So well, they've been stockpiling for literal months for this. Probably to meet the incredibly high demand, because, you know, if, you know, you make, make like a special edition for, d d I don't know, yeah. some, d you know, special edition for Nickelodeon All-Stars, I don't think that's going to have too high a demand, but no. for the ridiculous top of the, top of the charts pre-order for Amazon and, and GameStop in several countries, they probably made more special editions to meet the incredibly high demand. And I so that they can get the money and not the fucking scalpers. And I Not the soulless bastard scalpers! I absolutely love that. Because everybody is happy. And that's all I want, is for people to be happy and get their Metroid. Well, except the people who think that Dread isn't worth 60 bucks. No, tell them to go fuck themselves, because... Unfortunately, Nintendo has a pricing scheme that they never get rid of. Yeah. It took years for Mario Odyssey to finally drop to $40. Breath of the Wild is still 60 yeah, they but. barely have sales. In fact, I think the only reason they made sales, no joke, is because the OLED came out. Mm. And then they dropped their biggest IPs to $40, and they made bank. Again. Well, uh. Next time on Metroid Samus Returns, it's the finale. We're getting the last of the items, finishing the game, and then getting to some post-game gallery goodness. Oh, cool. Yes, it will be cool. Guaranteed. So stick around. See you next time.